What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting 4 videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a look at Veracity here and as we can see, it does look as though we are still stuck under a level of resistance, looking something like this basically. Which we've essentially been stuck under, you know, for pretty much ever since the start of September. Where basically we started flipping bearish pretty instantaneously as we came into that September time. We've had quite a lot of, you know, ridiculous FUD in the market recently. China has banned Bitcoin again and cryptocurrency in general for like the 50th time. Leading the markets down, also we've had the futures expire for the end of the month. And you know, all these kinds of other factors that lead to the market dropping down to a certain price. A lot of manipulation and essentially, you know, idiocy in the market that we've seen. But you know, this is where we are. September in general, obviously, a very, very uh, bearish month in general in all markets across the uh, across the stock market, etc. So cryptocurrency is just being led down by that, along with the recent Evergrande bearishness as well. We've seen just a general large amount of FUD in the market. And you know, we've seen a lot of cryptos starting to drop as a result as well. We had the uh, we had the El Salvador uh, drop here, chopping it up nicely in and around our EMAs for Veracity. Then we obviously had that additional drop for the uh, the Evergrande stuff. We started to get that full reversal and then again, more China FUD sending the market down again. We're currently trading in and around that three, that three cent level, you know, a good psychological support. And you can see if we throw our Fib retracements on here, we can get an idea of some of the key levels that we're looking for for support and resistance. You can see we've obviously lost our 078 here. So we came down perfectly to the absolute millicent onto the 618 where we got the bounce up back up above our 55 moving average rejected at the 20. We come back down because obviously we had another FUD in the market. We come down to around the 55 here and now it's, it seems as though we're trying to hold it as support for that bounce. And, you know, we are super bullish on veracity in general. It is probably forming up somewhat of a... Uh, somewhat of a falling wedge like a lot of cryptos are. I mean, you could say arguably maybe it's something like this. And you know, we've got that high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. And we're trying to make that higher, high, aren't we? But currently it looks as though maybe we're starting to, you know, coil and we'll get that breakout pretty soon. But for now, it's just forming up fairly similarly to a lot of other cryptos. And you can see here quite clearly, we're probably going to be, uh, you know, trading inside of this wedge for a little while. And if we do start to see ourselves break in either direction, we'll have an idea of what's going on. So. Really, there's not much else to say with Veracity. It does look as though it's holding up a lot better than a lot of cryptocurrencies. You can see just how bullish it is on its macro, on the macro trend that it's been in. You could argue that we're looking at, you know, a trend line formed, something like this potentially. And if that was the case, we could come down all the way to around the 050 here, around two cents before getting a really big bounce to the downside. If we lose the uh, 0618 as a short term prediction, break to the downside, get the bounce here on the trend line and get a huge pump to the upside or we could also get the air. Uh, let's just move this in here. Or if we do start to pump to the upside and, and break out of this level here, we've got the 078 we need to reclaim at 3.6 cents. And then obviously 4 cents, 5 cents, and 5.5 and cents for those short term price predictions. And then you know the drill by now. We do have that massive overextension at around 75 cents of the 227 extension. But we do think realistically, 50 cents to one dollar for veracity considering how low its market cap is isn't that unrealistic at all and we do think that's possible so that's it guys we'd like to thank everyone so much for their support if you've got any questions or suggestions please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day remember if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight as well as joining our growing community consider the patreon or youtube membership down below you can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.